Hello, 360 Boosters. We're so delighted you're here with us today. Ever pondered about the enigmas of the mind and matter? Today, we accompany AI researcher Yosha Bach on a thrilling journey. Bach's groundbreaking work enhances our understanding of intelligence and consciousness, predicting the future of AI. He focuses on biological evolution, biases in intelligence and consciousness in complex systems. Bach views social media as a potential platform for global intelligence. Come along with us as we navigate the labyrinth of mind and matter with Bach's profound insights. Have you pondered the adaptability of biological systems? Let's delve into Yosha Bach's insights. He focuses on planarians, aquatic creatures with alterable electrical circuits. According to Bach, if we manipulate these conditions, we can observe a real-life metamorphosis. Planarians can change their head shape to resemble another species. This demonstrates life's adaptability and plasticity, where slight changes can bring about major shifts in form, altering our understanding of evolution and adaptation. The extraordinary plasticity of life perpetually evolving and adapting. Evolution is more than genetics. It's an interplay with the environment, says Yosha Bach. Exploration of life and evolution pictures life as a maze with diverse outcomes. Life doesn't just genetically, but also environmentally, learning and transforming along the way. This is a testament to life's adaptability, extending beyond individuals, with species mirroring other species. In a ceaseless dance with the environment, life constantly reshapes itself. So evolution isn't isolated, but is a complex dance with the environment. Before we delve into defining intelligence, let's pause and reflect on the intricate dance between evolution and adaptability we've been discussing. How do you perceive the adaptability of biological systems? What are your thoughts on the pathways of biological evolution? Do you see parallels in human learning and decision-making? Remember, evolution isn't just about survival of the fittest, it's also about adaptability, learning and transformation. Similarly, intelligence isn't merely about knowledge, but about constructing efficient models for decision-making. We invite you to ponder on these questions and share your thoughts in the comments below. How do you see the interplay of evolution and intelligence in your own life? We're excited to hear your insights, so don't hesitate to join the conversation. After all, we're all part of this intricate dance of life, evolution, and intelligence. What is intelligence? More than just IQ scores and academic prowess, according to Yosha Bach, he asserts intelligence is about constructing efficient models for decision-making, not just storing knowledge. It's like navigating a maze, Intelligence about knowing the maze structure, but creating a strategy to traverse it. Thus, is not a mere measure of knowledge, but a tool for effective decision-making. Cognitive biases affect even the most intelligent minds, AI researcher Yosha stated, shedding light on how our thinking can impact perception and decision-making. Even a smart individual skilled in complex decision-making could be influenced by personal beliefs, leading to distorted information evidence of cognitive bias. Bach's assertion underscores that intelligence doesn't shield us from these biases entrenched in our cognitive structure. Thus, intelligence doesn't guarantee impartiality, a reminder of our inherent human element. Joshua Bach, a notable cognitive scientist, questions the AI development path. He suggests focusing not just on data processing, but also on adaptability and learning from environmental interactions, much like biological species. Bach's views indicate that the journey towards true AI might be more intricate and than we anticipate. Interested in delving deeper into the future of AI? We highly recommend exploring Yosha Bach's insightful work. Bach's perspectives not only stretch our understanding of AI, but also provoke thought on the potential of artificial consciousness. His writings beautifully blend science and philosophy, unfolding the intricate layers of AI, its potential, and the questions we need to ask as we step into this new era. So, if you're intrigued by the complexities of artificial intelligence and its potential future, Bach's work is a must-read. Remember, the journey towards understanding AI is as fascinating as the destination itself. Could a machine achieve consciousness? Yosha Bach's theory implies consciousness can arise in complex not exclusive to humans. It could emerge from intricate interactions within any system. Like music from an orchestra, consciousness may evolve from interactions of individual parts so, in artificial systems, consciousness could result from interconnected software and hardware exhibiting distinctive behaviors. How does the human brain, the most complex system we know, organize itself? 
Through Yoshibak's study, we learn that the brain, akin to complex systems, creates ordered structures. Components don't operate alone, but form a harmonious dance for intricate tasks. Think an orchestra, each player adding to the symphony. In the brain, billions of neurons thought and consciousness. In an AI system, individual parts interact for greater functionality. Hence, births efficient order. Before we dive deeper into the fascinating world of life and artificial intelligence, let's take a small interactive pause. If you're enjoying this journey through the enigmatic intersections of biology, evolution and artificial intelligence, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By doing so, you'll join the 360 Boost community, a dedicated group of knowledge seekers who are passionate about exploring these complex topics. Your support helps us continue creating content like this, diving into the mysteries of the mind, life and the universe. So, take a moment to subscribe, like and share this video. Now, let's move on to understanding how life actively constructs itself, challenging the boundaries of what we understand as possible. What sets life apart from artificial systems? Buck's insight into the self-constructive nature of life is key. Unlike artificial systems dictated by external factors, organisms forge their own structures and identities, constantly evolving and adapting to their environment. This isn't its growth and transformation. These elements allow organisms to thrive under any circumstances, continuously pushing limits. This distinctive quality lets flourish, always redefining the possible. Living beings thus are active in their existence, not merely observers. Is life an evolutionary problem solver? This intriguing concept by Joshua Bach highlights the adaptability of organisms against environmental hurdles. Each life form, each individual, represents a solution to countless problems encountered over time. It's more than survival, it's about change, evolution. Buck's views prompt us to reassess life's resilience and inventiveness. Life is the ultimate problem solver. We've observed how organisms evolve to solve problems. Now let's delve into the intelligence of collective systems. Cognitive scientist Joshua Bach suggests intelligence requires interconnected, adaptive units that can learn and respond. This concept is seen in nature in ant or bee colonies, where individual insects together form a self-regulating intelligent system. Similarly, our brains with billions of interconnected neurons demonstrate collective intelligence that aids problem solving and decision making. This gives us an understanding of the potential of collective systems in nature, society and technology. Can we consider our planet as an adaptive system with collective intelligence? This intriguing question sets the stage for exploring complex systems and consciousness. We've considered our planet as an interconnected system, a collective intelligence. In the digital era, platforms like Facebook and Twitter are networks of shared knowledge, shaping information pathways through user interactions. However, concerns like information accuracy, privacy and common good arise as we delve deeper. In the next scene, we'll explore the implications of this global intelligence and how we could harness it to address the world's pressing issues. Comparing social media to global intelligence, we now delve into its governance, mirroring the human brain's organization. Just as every neuron contributes to our brain's intelligence, every social media user enhances the network through their interactions. These information pathways strengthen the network, much like synapses in our brain. Governance structures, whether democratic or autocratic, strive for societal order. When considering governance for our global intelligence system, we must ask, how can ensure accurate information, uphold privacy and safety, and how can this system benefit humanity? It's not about control, but about creating a framework that promotes system functionality and ethics. As we delve deeper into collective intelligence, effective governance becomes crucial to maximizing its potential to benefit us all. As we delve into the vast world of intelligence, we now explore the intriguing concept of artificial consciousness. This presents us with a twofold challenge, technological and philosophical. The task of replicating the complexity of the human brain with its billions of neurons and trillions of synapses is enormous, yet overcoming this is just the beginning. We then face ethical dilemmas. What rights would artificial entities have and how they fit into our society? Would they be seen as sentient beings or just advanced tools? Even though these questions are theoretical now, 
Their significance rises as we move closer to the potential reality of artificial consciousness. This new form of intelligence will have profound implications for our understanding of consciousness, identity, and life itself. Join us as we delve further into the thrilling world. What's your prediction for the next groundbreaking development? Share your insights below. Remember to hit that subscribe button on 360 Boost's channel to take part in our polls. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay part of our ongoing discussion. What's your perspective on the future of the world and human beings? Let's dissect this together.